Hey guys, what is up? Mist here with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to scan any Android device for any possible malware or infected APKs on your device. Exactly what I'm saying. So, yes, you can possibly get unsafe APKs. Not everything you download is what you see it is. So, with this application, you can scan your device and see what's questionable, what's safe, and what you should uninstall today. Stay tuned. If you guys found this video helpful or any of my other videos helpful, please leave me a thumbs up by clicking on the thumbs up button down below. If you're new here, click on the red subscribe button, follow the bell icon to get notified for all future and new videos. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very much. If you're new here, welcome. My name is uh, Mr. Man, and here I do tech review videos, APK videos, APK streaming, and much, much more. So today on my Fire TV Stick 4K, I'm going to show you how to figure out what's safe and what's unsafe. Now you're probably wondering, how is it possible to do that? Because when you're actually on an application, right? If I go, for example, here, my applications, it's installed, so it should be safe. Like, I should be able to trust, for example, um, Mouse Toggle, River TV, right? Uh, Zumo, YouTube, Silk. But to be honest, since Android is open source, anybody can actually design an application and host it on apkpure.com, aptoid.com, or any other website. You have to really know what you're installing because unlike the iOS platform which is usually more safer because it's really hard to get um, a uh, iOS app on the App Store and there's no other place you can probably download apps unless going through a regressive and you know developer account etc get it safe whatever it's much much easier to create applications for Android because it's open source and the Amazon Fire TV stick is actually based off Android so, we're going to basically show you this application called Virus Total. Okay. First, I'm going to show you how to use it, and then I'll show you how to install it. So, newest version is 1.18b as in Bravo. We're going to open it up here. Launch application. Once you first open it up, it's going to look kind of weird because it's stretched on your TV. Because it's really meant for phones, but... You can still use it on your Fire TV Stick. Now, even though it looks strict on your Fire TV Stick, just press the OK button one more time. And now what it's doing is basically scanning every installed application on your device. Now, if you guys get this warning message, don't be scared. It just means that it won't really run with the physical Google Play services. But since we're actually testing on the Fire TV Stick, there's no real Google Play services because that's only for actual Google Play Store devices like your HTC phones, the Google OS, the Xiaomi Box, Nvidia Shield, etc., etc. So just click OK here. Now this is the actual application. It br brings you right into it. Uh, the menu here is pretty simple, but don't go into menu. Don't do anything. The the app itself. Once you load it, all you have to do is look at the main screen. You see how every single application says detected total and left hand side there's a green check mark. So there's basically three colors you can get or three icons in regards to each application. If you get a green check mark that means the application is clean to use, right? And based off all these antiviruses of all these companies Microsoft, McAfee, Malwarebytes, Panda, Sofo, Symantec, Treadnet, Viper, Zoner. A green check mark means that all these antivirus companies, right, have checked and confirmed it's clean, right? Now, of course, not every single company is going to agree with every APK. Like, for example, I know MX Player is safe. But I think two possible out of 75 think it's a Trojan and Trushlook thinks it's a debug key. 
Now, I've never heard of QHO 360 or Trust Look, but I would think that if 99% of companies think it's, it's true, I'm going to think it's true, right? For example, here, let's go to, you know, every other application is zero. Like, Zumo TV is zero. Virus Total itself is zero. Silk is zero. Netflix is zero, of course. So, out of all my applications, three out of maybe... So two out of 75, one out of 74, there is a possible, possible slight, slight chance that Trustlook thinks there's an adware on this. But what you want to know is that if there is more than four or five, six companies that think it's actually possible adware or possible malware, the green check mark on the left will turn to a different color. If it's a question mark, it's basically telling you, okay, now based off the virus total virus companies and antivirus companies that based on this it's up to you to make that choice right green means you're safe to have question mark means ah, it's up to you but red means get rid of it right now okay like i personally don't have any example of apks that are red or questionable because all my apks are safe i know where to download from and i don't get the actual application but let's say, for example, MX Player here says like 10 out of 62, and there's Trojans or there's viruses, and let's say, for example, Aegis Lab, Avast, Every Urban Defender, Commodore, all think this is a this application is actually fake and I should get rid of it. From this point on, this is more of an application to check what's safe and what's not. Let's say MX Player now is not safe. So what do I do? I press the home button on the remote. I scroll to the right and click on the gear icon. This is where you find all your settings. Then click on applications. Manage install applications. And you'd basically find that, that red application, in this case MX Player as an example. And just click uninstall. Simple as that. Once you do once you do that, you can go back into virus total and do a rescan. Once I've done a rescan, that red app is gone. So it means your Fire TV stick is now safe. Because sometimes the Fire TV stick, you know, won't catch it. Android won't catch it. You need apps like Virus Total to see what's safe and what's not safe. Now enough of me talking, you guys are probably wondering, okay, how do I actually install this? You know, I wanna keep my device safe. I want to make sure there's no possible malware. Nobody's watching me. There's no adware. There's no spyware. It's actually really easy to get, guys. First, we're going to open up your, in this case, on a Fire TV stick, but it works on any Android device. So go to Find. We're going to search for an app called Downloader. Now, I'm going to use Alexa because I'm lazy. Downloader. Install this orange application with the arrow. Let's type it up. Now, once you're here, I want to use the following code. This is going to be get dot file linked. Now, you guys have probably, you know, seen this in the, if, if you already have file link, you can actually skip this, skip this step. But if you don't, you do have to actually listen. So, file linked. Where's the K? Where's the K? Oh my god, I am blanking out. There it is. FileLink.com. Then click go. Once you do that, it's actually going to install FileLink to your device. Now, FileLink is an application to basically connect to custom APK stores to download custom APKs. Once FileLink is open, let's go ahead and delete that installer. We don't actually need it anymore. Right? Then we're going to open up file linked by going to here. Now, if it's not on your actual home screen, click on the applications icon. It's probably going to be down here towards the bottom, right? And if you press and hold, you can actually bring it up to your main page. Now, let's go ahead and launch file linked here. Once it's open up, use a code which is going to be down below as well, so don't worry, worry about memorizing it, right? Two, three, one one nine six two three 
then click continue. You're going to get a warning, please read the warning, click on dismiss. Scroll all the way down until you see virus total. Uploaded today, the 28th of April, 2021. Click on OK to download it. Click OK again, then click install. And that's basically it. You now have virus total on your device. When you're done, click back icon, click yes, top right hand corner, delete icon, click yes. And that is basically it, guys. So this video was to show you how to install virus total to see what's safe and not safe on your Amazon Fire TV stick or basically any Android device. If you guys found this video helpful, please leave me a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. You can follow me on Twitter. And that's basically it for today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.